Hi, welcome back to Shirai's show. Today is October 10th, 2010, and the time is 5 minutes after 3 Central American time. I like to, today is the Sabbath, so I want to reflect on today as the Sabbath. And I have some very interesting reading. The first one is from The Spirit Warriors by Stu Weber. And it is very interesting. This is from the part that I'm going to read. It isn't actually the actual writing in Christian Christianity Today. The following imaginary but all too possible dialogue between Satan and one of his underlying a demon named Fireball. It may well be illustrative of Satan's deceptive tactics. It, there are talking about their attempt to undermine the Easter season and its emphasis upon Christian resurrection. The title of the article was Dark Council at Easter. The devil looked pierced, thin smoke ribbon, and fell on his underlying fireball. How are things shaping up this Easter, he asked. That's the devil. Fireball shrug. Normal. Lots of nice outfits being assembled. Floors doing the big business. Chorus tuning up on the old hymns about victory over the grave. Anything serious to our cause? The devil asked. No more than usual. Some of them are always a problem. They mean that creed they repeat, but millions of them probably never dig this Easter thing. Lots of Christians appear to like their ideas better than those of the New Testament. Many of them seem to be taking less and less to the resurrection. Hmm, very interesting. And morality is fine. Let them talk about it. But muddle the theme as much as possible. Try to keep the word justification out of their mind. They are not to realize why he arose from the dead and keep them from studying Paul too much, especially where he insists that if Christ did not rise from the dead, then mankind cannot be saved. Noted Majesty. Deflate them from connecting the resurrection with stewardship also. Fireball beamed. You mean like when Paul comes up with the poetry about the resurrection and then winds up referring to the passing of the collection plate for the needy? What really matters, little brother, is that we make immorality becloud the issue. Hive from them the awesome blow to our cause. When he quits the grave, the church today must not feel the force of this thing. Never forget how the young church felt it, as they overrode all the philosophical arguments with their very glow. Easter shone out of them. You can't stop people who actually believe that death has been done in. We have to keep the resurrection out of the history so we can keep it out of human personality. Ethics is involved, spirituality, stewardship, evangelism, everything. Unquestionable, the devil said. Keep a blanket over the open grave. Never let them peek in and see that it, that it is empty. Let the clergyman copy one of their favorites and fluent preachers who says that, that his body lies in a nameless Caesarean tomb. But his deathless spirit goes on marching, that sort of thing. Only outside that tomb does he have the key of death and hell, understand? Understand, Majesty Fireball replied. My assignment is quite clear. I have to steal Easter. 
Go steal it then. Swallow up the resurrection and an undefined immorality. Keep him locked up in the tomb and you will keep Christianity locked up there with him. Smoke floated about Satan grimly. If the theologian ever really led him out of that tomb, hell, hell help him. All heaven might break loose. Quite interesting, isn't it? This is Shemari.